the lontong, just sop it up with that rendang sauce. It's incredible. This is one hell of a breakfast here in Johor. The southernmost city in mainland Asia. Welcome to Johor Bahru, or JB as the locals call it. This city has a vibrant food culture with influences from around the world. Italian, Middle Eastern to name a few. In this episode, we will take you as we taste seven signature dishes here in JB. So many layers of flavor in this bowl. With a born and raised native Johor. The new friend, Linda. Morning. I'm a little bit awake. Hi guys. Good morning. We're usually not a morning people, persons. <laughs> we are here at Bondok Santa Fan, a very local place here in Johor Bahru. And set up only the morning, currently. We're here with our friends, Ken, Hello. and a new friend, Linda. Hi. Linda is going to be taking us around Johor Bahru. She is a born and raised Johorian. We have nasi ambang. Look at that. I am so curious about this. I love spaghetti, bolognese, and noodles. Looks like spaghetti. Look at this. The interesting dish here is the nasi ambang. This actually has Javanese roots, so Java, Indonesia. Very interesting. And this actually looks a lot like what we would order at our favorite Indonesian restaurant in New York City called Indo Java. So we actually have a video our Indonesian food in New York City. I'm gonna put a card up here for that. You can check that out. It looks very similar because you have the rice and you have fried noodles. So you have double carbs here. And looks like there's also some um, sambal hijau, the green sambal. Looks like there's the toasted coconut. Very interesting. And there's a, uh, different vegetables here with the tempeh. So there's long beans, there's cabbage, tempeh, and you have, looks like there's a big piece of chicken here as well with more tempeh. And I have the over the banana leaf. Looks really interesting. I'm gonna go here. This is a dish you gotta eat with the hands. We love eating our hands with the rice, so. Let me know where to start here. I think I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try some of this chicken first. Mm. It's like it's fried, it's brown sauce. Not very spicy at all. Savory. Slight bit of spice to it. But now I'm gonna mix it all up. Take some of the fried noodle. Piece of that chicken. Sambal hijau. Coconut. Veggie. One big bite. Mm. Love the flavor of the sambal hijau, that green sambal. And the coconut. Really nice flavor. This is one of the specialty dishes here in Malaysia. And the state of Johor has their own kind of laksa. Interesting backstory behind it is reading that one of the old sultans had traveled to Italy, and when he came back, he actually wanted to have a dish with laksa made with spaghetti noodle. That's why they use spaghetti noodles in this laksa. And it's very interesting, there's a lot of minced fish here. I believe it's sardine. You have the spaghetti, then you have this big thick gravy on top. So it's the minced fish. The minced fish also almost looks like Penang Assam laksa. You know, we went to Penang, we had a whole video about it. I'm gonna put a card up here and check that out. But uh, that's what the kind of minced fish reminded me of at first. But there's also a bunch of different aromatics in here. So you have these herbs, you have the tauge, the bean sprouts, you have cucumber. And this kind of laksa is not like the laksa you may think of like the soupy laksa. This is more of a thick paste, a little bit of a gravy here. I'm really interested to try this. Definitely <laughs> get that spaghetti feel with it. It's just like, almost thinking of it like a Johor version of bolognese. Like, there's no beef, 
the minced fish. I love the minced fish, and I love the contrast of texture too. The soft spaghetti noodle, and you have the crunchy cucumber, onion, very refreshing. But then you have that spicy kick in there with the samba, and a little bit of that citrus from the calamansi on there. I like that the minced fish is not overly fishy either. It's just really nice flavors and the aromatics I love the most. I think the herbs really top it off really nicely and they balance everything out together. It's a really interesting laksa. Like, something you come to Johor, you have to try this. So we're here at Plaza Larkin, this nice food court here, and we're trying something that's specific to JB, Asma Rojak, recommended by our local friend, Linda. <laughs> Never heard of Asma Rojak before this, so it looks like a pasta board as far as the sauce. This is orange sauce, but it's actually, you don't typically pour it on top. You're usually supposed to dip it. So we got a mix here of the different fritters, like a pasta board. So we, got, uh, we got fritters, we got sambal sotong, the squid, we also got some egg, potato, all chopped up. And they give it to you with lettuce, cucumber, and there's chopped green chili. We'll go first with this dough fritter and dip it in the sauce. All right, it's perfect thing to soak up that sauce. Let's take a bite. Mm. It does taste similar to pasta board. It's a little sweet, thickened with the sweet potato, a little peanut in there. Not really spicy. It's definitely more on the sweet side. Try it by itself first before I even dip into any sauce. Squid is really nice when you dip it in the sauce because the squid itself is already spicy with the sambal. Then you dip it into the sweet uh, rojak sauce on the side. You get that sweet spicy combo. It's nice. It makes me feel that I'm eating healthy food, even though there are some fried food in here. <laughs> At first, you were like, how will I like this? But that's how I ask myself. But actually, you have to try it to like it. And it's really good. For another JB specialty, Mi Rebus. Tried a few already. This one looks really special. And it's one of Linda's favorite Mi <laughs> In JB, <laughs> it's a Mirabus Tulong Lao. We got the special. So this one's, what makes it special is that you have the udon, the fried prawns, and you have the fried mushroom. And the Mirabus is interesting because it's kind of a soup and kind of not. It's really more in a gravy, and the gravy's thickened with sweet potato. And it's covered in these fritters here, and also has the chopped chilies. Still have the sliced uh, boiled egg. You squeeze some calamansi on top. This one looks delicious. It smells great. It smells like a comforting like stew. I'm just really, really curious about it. Let's get. There's a nice thick noodles. You can see they it really is covered in this gravy nicely. I'm gonna wrap it up like some spaghetti. really got a nice like sweet savory combo only slightly sweet though but it really just reminds me of like a like a gravy like a mashed potato and gravy kind of gravy but a little bit more spice to it this is very comforting it's warming me up is just like is it, that's the kind of the feel I get from Mirabus tried a few different Mirabus before here we've had it had the one with the Tulang like the the lamb bones. That one kind of dominates. That's what's nice about this one. You can really taste the beetle boost. We also have these nice prawns. Dip in that gravy. The prawn goes very, very well with the beetle boost. I love the way the gravy combines with that prawn. It's delicious. Not like any other noodle dish we've had here in Malaysia at all. Totally different. It's like mashed potatoes and gravy, swap out the mashed potatoes, add noodles, kind of similar <laughs> taste to me. Good morning. I'm a little bit awake. We are at Medan Selera Taman Chempaka. This 
heavy duty, very savory and delicious looking breakfast that we're about to have. It's from Cafeteria Makan Rasa. And we're over with a friend, Linda. Hi, Linda guys. has been schooling us, teaching us what's the difference of the two. Basically, this two thing, this two um, delicious food that were in front of us is the same thing. This one is lontong kua and this one is lontong kering. Basically, what's in here in lontong kua is what's here. With just this one is just uplifted or elevated a little bit because of the kua. This is this the kua is a gravy looking um, soup. It's in here, and um, I'm so excited. It's breakfast, and this is my kind of breakfast. Delicious, savory, um, and very hearty. So this lontong kwa looks very familiar. It looks a lot like the lontong sayur that we eat a lot in New York at our favorite Indonesian restaurant, Indo Java. Well, not really a restaurant, but <laughs> Indonesian grocery store restaurant, Indo Java. We mentioned it before. I'm gonna mention it a lot in this video because of the Javanese influence here on Johorian food, which is very interesting. Did not even know that before coming here. You have the big compressed rice cubes, the lontong, and you have this very nice looking gravy, this yellow gravy. It's probably turmeric in here, that's what it looks like. A lot of vegetables. You have cabbage, carrot, and you also have the glass noodle in here. There's green beans. You have this big boiled egg. That's perfect for breakfast too. You have the peanut sauce, the sambal, and the serunding, the coconut. On top, the toasted coconut. It looks incredible. Oh, I'm just going to take a sip of that broth first. Mm. Oh, a very nice santan coconut milk flavor. Not really spicy yet. I'm sure when I mix in the sambal, it will. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna mix in some sambal, serunding, get it all in there. Mm. There's so many flavors going on in there. Yeah, the coconut milk, the peanut, the sambal, the coconut in there. Types of coconut milk and the serunding, the healthy because we're getting vegetables in here too. This nice big chunk of lontong. I just cut off a piece of these huge chunks of lontong. I just love that texture. Instead of getting like your individual rice, it's all compressed together. So it's kind of like in between a rice and like, it's not really like a noodle, it's like not like a noodle soup, but it's, it's something totally unique because those compressed rice cakes, rice cubes. the lontong kering. So it's without the kwas, so it's without the gravy. And it's like a dry version of the lontong, which looks delicious too. Except we have this big, lovely piece of chicken rendang here. It's nice and saucy. I have on the side, we have the tempeh, vegetables, glass noodle. I'll try a little of that first, actually. Mm. Adds that light, uh, refreshing taste to it. But now I'm gonna take the lontong. A nice mix with the peanut sauce, sambal, serunding. Mm. But this rendang is called my name. I gotta get in there. Mm. That rendang has got so much flavor in it. Got that lemongrass, the lime leaves. And it's just covering that sauce. I love it. I think I'm gonna go in here at some point. I'm gonna get the lontong. Just sop it up with that rendang sauce. It's incredible. This is one hell of a breakfast here in Johor. Can't stress it enough. You have to have this when you come to Johor. Mm -hmm. If I pick, which is my favorite mm -hmm. of the two, mm -hmm. I think I like this one better because it has more flavor than this one. I think it was like so soup. soupy. Yeah. So the soup the, that takes away, yeah. yeah. And the soup is just, it's really, really good. And it's kind of like, un, yeah, overpower and underwhelms uh -huh. the other flavor that's in there.
We're now having our one of our favorite eats here in Johor Bahru. This one is Kachang Pool from Kachang Pool Haji. We've got two things, beef and mutton or kambing. Oh, ah, I'm so excited to have this. Maybe I'll get two of these because it's really that good. They also give it to us with this, the thickest loaf of bread you'll ever see in your life. What you usually do is you take this bread and you dip it and scoop everything in there. Mmm, it was so good. This is for you. This one beef and mutton. Chili and onion. The kachang pool is a JB specialty. It's really interesting. So kachang means bean and pool. The reason why it's called pool is because it's actually similar to the Middle Eastern dish called fool, fool modamas. It's actually a dish we ate in New York a lot, especially we ate it in our Middle Eastern food in New York City video. We'll put a card up here if you want to check it out. So that's normally just a dish that's made with fava beans, and this has the fava beans, but this is a Malay twist that has meat in it. So I got the kambing, it's the mutton, and look at these, the big chunks of fava bean in here. It's really interesting. You have cumin seeds, I mix that egg all in there, so you have the bits of the egg yolk, onion, the chopped green chilies, man. You just smell those spices. Take a nice big spoonful right here. Really interesting flavor. So it does have that like, cool is really thick normally. This has a bit of that thickness, but with the meat, that actually reminds me of like American chili. Like you have the meat and the bean combination. Then you have the egg in there, that beautiful fried egg is made fresh here on the flat top. You put it on and it really just makes it deluxe when you add that fried egg in there. Mm. Then you get those nice crunchy bits. And a little spiciness comes in from the green chilies. The one on its own is not very spicy. But it's definitely fragrant with the cumin seeds and other spices. What you gotta do, you got this big slab of toast right here, all buttered up. In this case, margarine up. Yeah, <laughs> or margarine up, yep. Take it, and you just fold it up, take a big dip of that. Take a few so you can really coat it up nicely. Look at that. Mm. What's interesting, this dish has a little bit of sweetness naturally to it too, but then you also squeeze that calamansi on top. You get that nice citrusy kick in there too, so it just adds another la layer of flavor. There's so many layers of flavor in this bowl. It's delicious. See why it's very popular here. Great, a meal that'd be great any time of the day. I'd love this for breakfast, I'd love it for lunch, I'd love it for dinner too, or late night, why not? It's got <laughs> snack. Whenever. This is definitely, you can see why it's such a popular dish here in JB, and I love it too. Kachang pool here is so good. The second round of our kachang pool. Now I have the mutton, and Greg is having the beef. Linda, I bring you here because I want you to have a variety of foods to see what's JP available. But I'm not so sure what kind of food that you're willing to try. So I'll give you a glimpse. So probably later you can search yourself. 